So I've noticed that Philip has been overheating a bit recently. She's been hitting a peak of 112 C and that's a bit too hot. So let's get the front open and find out what's wrong. Philippa, really? Taking your clothes off for the lads before you've even been introduced. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is Philippa, or Pip for short. She's a Haynes Roadster that I built when I was 19 years old. She's a front-engined, rear-wheel drive sports car based on the Lotus 7. She's just come out of storage, and this is what she looks like today. I built her in my dad's workshop, originally using a Honda Blackbird motorcycle engine. However, that deposited one of its connecting rods on the side of the road, so she's now fitted with a Honda S2000 engine. I'm going to be doing a few videos on Pip over the next few weeks while I bring her back up into tip-top condition. So make sure you press that subscribe button to keep up to date with what's going on. Now let's go and see if we can fix this overheating problem. This doesn't look so good. I've got a load of brown spray that's come out of the radiator overflow pipe. I think this has happened because I've mixed two antifreezes that aren't compatible and that's sludged up the radiator, making the radiator less efficient and that's ultimately caused the car to overheat. When a car overheats, you stand a much higher chance of blowing the cylinder head gasket. So let's just check that's okay. The first thing to check is the colour of your engine oil. If it looks like mayonnaise in there, you've got water in your oil. This is nice and clean, so that looks good. The next thing to check is the cylinder compression. This tests that you haven't got a leak between the cylinders, or a leak between the cylinder and the water jacket. Magnet on a stick, very handy. This is a compression tester. This end gets screwed into the spark plug hole and then when we crank the engine the gauge just records the maximum pressure in the cylinder. We do it for all four cylinders and they should all be about the same. Hmm, number four does seem a little low, but let's get the coolant dropped and the radiator cleaned out. Oh yeah, that's looking really quite grim. There we go, that's the radiator cap off. There we go. With all the dirty coolant out, I've put the hoses back on. I'm now putting in some radiator cleaner and refilling it with fresh water. That seems fairly full. I let the car get up to temperature so that it will pump the cleaning solution all around the cooling system. I've just been for a little spin around the block and we've had a peak water temperature of 88 degrees. I'll let that cool down now and then flush out the cleaning solution. Oh, it's Nick. Hi Nick. Yeah, I'm almost done. Yeah, of course I checked the colour of the oil. I checked it before I started. I'll have a quick look again now. Um, that wasn't like that before. I'm just going to call you back. Well, it looks like the head gasket's just gone. 